So it's a week of the big CSW show. Final countdown, the final show. And uh, sorry to look like the Irish Extremes opponent is the big opponent that they were the discussions were going on about him coming over to CSW. And uh, I still don't know. I mean, his manager says it's a surprise, and this manager, Alexis Faye, she has a lot of people that she can bring over, a lot of good wrestlers. But uh, I did a promo yesterday, reaching out to Tarantula, the one that the Games Master, I guess, grabbed her foot that allowed me to hit my clover cutter on her and eliminate her from the elimination match. Um, I thought she stumbled, apparently not, uh, but I reached out to her in a promo video yesterday asking her to uh, watch the back of the Irish Extreme because Alexis Fane, she uh, has a tendency to get involved in matches, which uh, nobody wants to see that happen. So I reached out to Tarantula to hopefully get her to watch my back during the match, make sure that Miss Vane does not interject herself into the match. Uh, but it should be good. Should be good seeing it. one who this surprise opponent is. And uh to uh, tackling the uh, tackling the unknown, getting over the obstacle of trying to prepare for someone I don't know about, uh, but it should be a good match, anyways. So uh, more videos to come as we get closer to the show, which is this Saturday. Uh, and uh, last week's show should be dropping today. Sorry, I was behind. Feeling a little under the weather. So this morning, I got back the reply from Tarantula. She will be in my corner when Miss Alexis Bain brings her surprise opponent to take me on at CSW Final Countdown this Saturday. Uh, so hopefully with Tarantula being at ringside, Alexis Fane won't get involved. But who knows how it's gonna happen. Really, who knows who she's breeding. I, I'd like to know, that way I can prepare for them, but I don't. But it, it, it should be a lot more interesting with Tarantula in my corner because Alexis really does have the motive to always get involved in her matches. Uh, she's one of those type of valets, but uh, we'll see how it goes with Tarantula there at ringside. Thanks for accepting the offer. So it's the day before the CSW show. I uh, had a good workout this morning. Uh, gonna stop by the tanning salon, get a nice 10 minute tan, a fresh tan before the show. That way I'm all fresh and looking good. And uh, it's great that Tarantula has agreed to be my backup against Alexis Vane. And I just hope that uh, it goes well. I've been preparing for Miss Vane's clientele from uh, New Era, her top three, because I know he, any of the three are really good wrestlers. Uh, I've been practicing taking, taking the bumps. I know I'm going to be taking, going through the pain, because I know it's going to be a hard a thought match. So it's going to be a pretty interesting to see which one of her clients it is uh, all I know is it could be 
any of the three. It could be all of the three. Heck, it, it, it could be someone that she's never managed before. That's the whole thing about a surprise opponent. That, And it's nerve-wracking, but at least I got Tarantula there so that Alexis Vane will not interject herself in the match. No interference from her. Otherwise, Tarantula will beat that ass. Uh, so, tomorrow's the show. Get a tan and on the way up to Colorado Springs. And uh, hit you guys up tomorrow before the show. So, it's the day of the CSW show. Uh, last night, I did a radio interview to plug the uh, show and gave away a couple tickets on the radio. Uh, Shiro Ishii, another wrestler, was there, and so was Randy Rude, the one who runs the Rude Awakening. And this morning, we did a interview for the Rude Awakening again that will air next weekend, next Saturday. It'll be the post-final uh, countdown show so did that interview and uh getting ready here in about an hour to go help set up over there because you always gotta pay your dues and uh go through a manny lemons seminar manny lemons he's done csw he was it at the october show the halloween slam bash show and uh he's the one that's running the utah show for in a couple weeks and uh so he's doing a seminar after setup's done, and then he'll also be wrestling tonight. Uh, you guys may have known Manny from Impact Wrestling earlier this week and from Ring of Honor shows. So it's he's pretty much given us pointers on what the big wigs are looking for. So we'll be doing the setup, the seminar, and then the show. And should be good i'll let you guys know tomorrow morning after i shoot who my surprise opponent was and the outcome of it so hit you guys up tomorrow so i am leaving colorado springs headed back home uh csw final countdown turned out to be a really great show uh, my surprise opponent was none other than Chongo Bronson, a big up-and-comer here in Colorado. Uh, it's really hard to prepare for a surprise opponent, especially when that surprise opponent is not the surprise opponent that you think it's going to be. And uh, even though the Irish Extreme tried hard to overcome the lack of preparation, the lack of knowledge, tried to overcome the unknown, Chongo Bronson, he, it brutally attacked me, and uh, yeah, he, he he defeated me. But uh, never fear, the Irish Extreme will continue to move forward. In a little under two weeks, I will be headed to Salt Lake City for a Devotion Championship Wrestling show that Manny Lemons from Reign of Honor and Impact will be running. Uh, so it should be a good show. Quite a few of us from CSW are going up there to Salt Lake City. So I have that coming in the next couple weeks. But as for now, time to uh, recoup and uh, bounce back after this loss.